How do I remove an existing family manager on PS4? Hello there, PS4 users. Today, we're going to tackle a question that has been popping up quite often recently. How do I remove an existing family manager on PS4? This step-by-step -step tutorial will guide you through the process, making it simple and straightforward. Understanding Family Manager Role First things first, it's important to know that the family manager is a role assigned to the primary user account in a PlayStation 4 system. This account has the power to add other accounts to the system and manage parental controls, amongst other things. To modify or remove this role, we'll need access to the family manager account. Preparing to change family manager. Before we get started, make sure you are logged into the family manager account. You'll need access to the family manager sign and information. This is a critical step because only the family manager can initiate this process. Navigating to family management settings. Here's where the action happens. From the PS4 home screen, you'll need to 1. Navigate to the settings menu, represented by a toolbox icon. 2. Scroll down and select parental controls, family management. 3. In the new menu, select family management. You might need to enter your PSN account password to proceed. Removing the family manager role. In the family management menu, 1. Select the account you want to change or remove as family manager, 2. Depending on what you want to do, you can change the account's role or delete the account from your family. This can be found under account information. Please note, deleting an account will remove all data associated with it. Be cautious and make sure to back up any data you want to keep. Confirming changes. After you've made your selection, you'll need to confirm the changes. Once you've done that, the system should automatically update the family settings. And there you have it. Now you know how to remove a family manager on PS4. Remember, it's a straightforward process once you know what to do, but always proceed with caution to avoid accidental data loss. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider sharing it with others who might need it. Happy gaming!